And a happy New Year's to everybody. It's your old pal Jones with this December's Patreon Q&A. Here we go. What's your favorite song? This one I thought about long and hard because I've got a favorite you know, a favorite folk song, a favorite acapella song, a favorite song from musical. But I kept coming back to a song that I use a lot for myself, whether it's using a song for, you know, prepping as an actor or a song for when I daydream. And that song to me is a song, it's an instrumental song by Helen J. Long, Jane Long, forgive me, Helen Jane Long, called Porcelain from her, um, also the same title of her album. And it's a very simple piano track where strings come in about halfway through. And it's very innocuous. It just kind of goes bum, 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 and so forth. But what really makes it shine is that, like the title suggests, it just captures the fragility of, the, of, the, of, a, of a personal spirit and how it struggles on when it's just met with so much pressure and, 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 and aggression and how it still manages to eke out a bit of energy and, and movement. I think there's a great shame in American society where we're, where we're taught that well, we have to keep going and keep rallying and keep pushing no matter what, to suck it up. And I think the song like Porcelain reminds us that we are fragile people, that we are chipped and broken. And it's okay to be those things. And it's okay to sometimes stop or slow. And it's going to hurt sometimes. And especially in a year like this, where things have been far from perfect for a lot of people. What's the one thing you want to do in the new year? I want to surrender. I have been pushing so hard. I have been hustling and auditioning and, and working and planning and planning and and fighting myself, fighting limited time, fighting resources, getting in arguments with a lot of people. And I just, I want to surrender. I want to not surrender as in quit, surrender as in recognize when I have control over things and when it's okay to just take what opportunities are available and understand when it's time for me to step back and use that energy for another opportunity. I want to be happier. I don't quite know how yet. What do you prefer? Snow or sun? And this is specifically for New York City. When it's hot in New York City, it's humidity hot. So I'm speaking about your June through august -y times. That's not really fun. Spring and fall here are beautiful. They are fleeting. They are the most gorgeous times of the year. Snow in New York City to me, as much as people with cars complain about it, and as perilous as it can be sometimes with the, with the ice situation, I kind of enjoy. I like to be able to just armor up and put on a scarf and a hoodie and mittens and a thick coat and just go into the elements and battle it because it's a reminder to me that New York at the heart of it is testing you, is pushing you to, to not be still, to not give up. And it's also fun when you get inside somewhere with a bunch of other people who've done the same thing and watch them unwrap themselves and see, oh, this is the fragile self that is behind all of these thick armored pieces, these heavy coats, these scarves, these mittens, these gloves. I think it's very telling. I think it makes people kinder as a result. This disarming of people. What's your ritual for writing a one-word poem? And those of you who know, for my $10 donors and up, I ask you all for a prompt for a one-word poem, and those go up on the site throughout the month. My ritual, um, it varies. Sometimes I just sit there and I look at the word and I just kind of go into a daydream for days. Or if it's a tough one, for a week and sit there and go, hmm, how the hell am I going to make Petrachor 
I will work into a poem. Other times, I will. I will use etymology as a guide. I will research various etymological dictionaries, Oxford, Webster, and start off with the root of the word itself, its origins in Greek or French or Latin, and piggyback on that. Sometimes I will free associate, write about childhood or life or, or what I'm feeling at the moment and how it may connect to the word itself from a truth sideways. And sometimes that's just garbage, and I throw away that draft, or a second or a third draft else comes up. And sometimes it's very surprising, just the wonderful stuff that comes out of it. And I'm always glad for each new spontaneous word that everyone comes up with. Here are my questions for you and the start of this year. What irrationally makes you jealous? What is a terrible January movie that you secretly want to see? Here's a dirty little secret in the film industry. This whole holiday season, best and brightest movies come out, award bait, blockbusters. People know that you know, the big money's coming right now. Like everyone alive, I saw The Last Jedi. Great stuff. Those of you who say otherwise, you're goddamn liars, and we can talk about that later. Um, but the January stuff is usually when the, the studios go, we sucked, and we need to burn off some money or some, some film, and that gets tossed off. Your horror films, your stuff that clearly didn't test well. Which of those are your guilty pleasures? Have a great, prosperous 2018. Be good to yourselves. I love you.